Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the loan amortization schedule. But this time, we're going to look at what happens when you have extra payments or when you make extra payment toward your loan. And specifically, we have an example here for a mortgage loan. So you'll see how that works. In our previous example, we looked at three different examples of how to calculate the loan amortization schedule using Excel. So we looked at three practical examples. So if this is your first time looking at the loan amortization schedule, I would strongly encourage you to take a look at our first lesson where we went through it in great detail and show you how it works, how we calculate our interest rate if you're not given the interest rate, and how you go about putting in your columns as you can see here. So if you'd like to check out how we do everything from scratch, the link to that lesson is in the description below. But if you just want to see how you work it out when you make extra payment or how much or how many months will you have to pay for your loan or your mortgage loan if you make extra payment or how many less periods will you have to pay over your mortgage loan if you make extra payments. Well, that's what we're going to do in this one here. So obviously, as you can see, we are given the loan amount. That's how much the mortgage loan amount is, 900,000 Rand. We're given the interest rate this time in our previous lesson we're not given the interest rate and we had to work it out so we had to work out what our monthly interest rate is and then we multiplied that by 12 to get our annual interest rate sometimes you're given the annual interest rate and you just divide that by 12 to get your monthly interest rate but in this case we are given the interest rates but what we are not given this time is the payment so the details are exactly the same but i want to show you how to calculate the monthly payment that you will be making using excel and using that formula and then we're given the initial payment date so this you can input your actual details if you're paying for your mortgage loan or you can use whatever examples you're dealing with and then here it's for a period of 20 years and that means if you're paying it off monthly you'll be paying it over 240 months because i took 20 years times 12 months and then the payment period is 240 months so i just like to put my payment period uh, which is the same as the months if you're going to be paying it over every month okay now that we have all those details we need to put down our period so obviously we need period one all the way to period 240 and then we need our payment but you don't have our payments how do you calculate your payment using an excel formula well you press the equal sign and then you press pmt which stands for payment and then you open your bracket and then it's asking you what is the rate well here you're putting in your monthly interest rate remember the interest rate has to coincide with your payment period so if you are paying it over monthly as in this case here we have to put in our monthly interest rate and not the annual interest rate so 0 0.81 and then you put a comma and then the number of period is 240 months and then we put another comma what is the present value how much did i take out for this mortgage loan well it's 900,000 rand so i just select 900,000 rand and then I select comma and then do I have any future value? Am I going to pay over anything in the future? No, so I'm going to put zero there and then I put the comma and then what is the type? Well, the type is are we paying this mortgage loan at the beginning of each month or at the end of each month? Well, that's the end of each month. So I put zero for the end of the month. But if your example is at the beginning of the month, then you would select the number one. Okay. Now I've put in all my details. I just close the brackets and I press enter. And you can see there the payment is 8,500 rand. So if you check out our first lesson, you will realize that's exactly how much we had as well. So let's put in our periods. We start with period zero. Okay. And then we just drag it down all the way to period 240. So let's just drag it all the way down. Down. okay and then I feel series and then if we go down here let's see how many we have we have 233 so we need to make sure that 240 right so now I have my 240 months that's fine so here's where the difference comes in when we have to make extra payments or when we want to see what the effect will be if we make extra payment we have to add one more column for extra payments remember here we have period payment interest capital and balance so just before balance you put your extra payment so i'm just going to cut that and put it on the next column and then here i put extra payments right so what happens if we make extra payments all right so i've just added one more column and that is where the difference is we have one extra column when we are dealing with extra payments all right otherwise everything else stays exactly the same as we did in the previous lesson now here we are starting at period zero and like i mentioned in the previous lesson i like to start with period zero so that i can put my balance or my loan amount in period zero if you don't want to start with period zero if you want to start with period one that means you need an extra column for your opening balance all right that's usually how you tabulate it well and the presentation looks good but otherwise if we start with period zero what is our balance of period zero well 
that is the 900,000 rand. So I press equal, and then I press the 900,000, and I press enter. Okay, now I have my balance at period zero. And then what is the payment that I would be making on a monthly basis? Well, it's the 8,500 rand that we calculated. So what I can do is to press the equal sign, but I can see that my 8,500 rand, when we did the calculation using the formula, it came out as a negative, but I like to show all my amounts as a positive here for simplicity. Okay, so I just, I'm just going to press the minus sign and then select the 8,500 and then press enter. And you can see now it's showing it as a positive. So what did I do? I press the equal sign and then I press the minus sign and then I press the 8,500 and then I clicked on enter. Otherwise, you don't have to do that. You could have just entered that 8,500 rand. No, you just type it out, all right? 8,500. Uh, so if I just type it out there, that's still fine as well, okay? So it didn't have to refer to the formula. But what I like referring to the formula is if I change that amount there, if that amount changes there, then my table automatically adjusts. So that is why I like to refer to the cells instead of just typing out the amount, okay? But here's the thing. If I'm referring to another cell, if I drag it all the way down, then it's not going to show the 8,500 consistently. So I have to lock that row. So what you do is that you press F4 and it makes sure that it's showing the dollar sign for both the column and the cell. So you make sure that that's the case and that's what it does. Otherwise, it will throw you off, okay? So if it's only showing one dollar sign, press the F4 button again and it's going to show the two dollar signs. But make sure that it's showing both. If you don't want to lock the cell and the column, then you can just punch in the 8,500 rand, okay? But if you change any of the inputs, that means you also have to manually change what your payment is. So I press enter once I have locked. So now that I put in my payment, what is my interest? Well, I press the equal sign and then I select the monthly interest rate here of 0.81%. And then I make sure that I lock that cell. So you press the F4 button and then you multiply that by the balance of the previous period. So we are in period one, that's the balance of period zero, which is the 900,000 which you borrowed, okay? And then I press enter and showing me how much is going toward interest in the first period. So I make a payment of 8,500 and 7,266 of that amount is going toward interest and the rest will go toward capital. So I press the equal sign under capital and then I select the 8,500 minus the interest, which is the 7,266 and then I press enter and that is how much is allocated toward capital, 1,233, okay? What about the extra payment? Well, I'm just going to put zero for now so that I'll show you how it works, okay? So I put zero for uh, period one and then the balance here's where the difference also comes so with the formula we're going to press the equal sign and then we press the previous balance in this case the 900,000 rand and then we deduct the capital portion that's all we did in the previous lesson where we don't have extra payments but since we have extra payments here you're taking the balance minus the capital of the current period and then you also deduct the extra payment of that specific period so here we're deducting the extra payment as well so if you can see this we're taking the balance of the previous period minus the capital minus the extra payments and then we press enter okay and that's how much is outstanding from the loan payment at the end of period one okay now that i've done that since i have my extra payments here and i want it to stay constant all right at zero in this case Till the end, what I can do is that I can drag down all my columns one by one. So I can either drag it down all the way to the end or what I can do is go back up and just go to the bottom right of the cell and double click. And there it has dragged it all the way to the end and I go to the interest and I do the same and I go to the capital, do the same and I go to my extra payment, do the same and then the balance finally, I do the same as well. And there we have it. It has populated everything correctly. Like you can see here, if you scroll down to the end, you can see by the end of the 240th period, we have paid off the entire loan amount. Okay, so you can see it will take us 240 months if we have zero extra payment going toward the mortgage loan okay so now we want to see what will happen if we make any extra payment toward the loan so you can see it will take us 240 months to pay it off if we don't make any extra payment okay so here i just want to quickly put my totals so i'm just going to write here total and then i'm going to sum up everything from the top so sum open brackets and then select everything from number one to the end and then close bracket and then press enter and you can see by the end of 240 months we have made payments of two million and forty thousand rand and then i just copy that or i can just 
select the bottom right of the cell and just drag it all the way to the end and you can see how much payment we have made for interest how much payment we have made for capital and how much payment we have made in total okay so i can see everything over here obviously this one here for balance we don't need that amount because um it doesn't make sense so it's just adding the balances so that is how we do the amortization schedule and it's showing you how much you pay toward interest you can see it's one million one hundred and forty thousand rand which is more than your actual loan amount that you took out okay so let's see what happens if you make extra payments so let's say in the first period you make an extra payment of twenty thousand rand okay so you make an extra payment of twenty thousand rand what now happens to your loan okay so let's scroll down and see by when we have paid it off so you can see here by the 225th month you have paid off your mortgage loan so you can see here you have even some change left you have 1506 rand extra that you've made payment toward this loan if you make 8500 rand of payment so it will take you 225 months to make the payment but how much would you save on so remember you've made an extra 20,000 rand at the beginning of the period now let's see how much you would have saved on so if i drag down from the 226th month all the way to the end you can see it's 127,500 rand that's how much you've saved on in fact it's not just that one plus the 1,500 rand so you've saved just over 127,500 rand of interest that you could have incurred if you didn't pay that 20,000 rand okay now let's see what happens if you make small extra payments at the end of every month let's say you're just making an extra payment of 500 rand every month so i press 500 on the first period and press enter and then i drag it down all the way to the end let's see how long it's gonna take us to pay off this mortgage loan so if i scroll down here you can see here by when we have been done or completed okay so you can see it's gonna take us 205 months to pay off the mortgage loan so 205 months so let's deduct that by 20 so if i take 205 divide by 12 sorry that is because it's 12 months in a year so it's going to take us 17 years to pay off the loan so you save about three years of monthly payment that you could have made towards the loan so if you pay an extra 500 rand you can see by the 205th month that's when you would be done and how much would you save on so um by the 205th month so let's see how much you would have saved on you'd have saved 297,500 rand of interest okay so if you save 297,500 rand of interest and i'm looking at the answer here at the bottom right how much did you actually pay extra so let's see if i scroll up all the way to the end you can see you paid extra 102,500 rand toward the mortgage loan and you ended up saving the 297,000 rand and that is how the mortgage amortization schedule or the mortgage amortization table actually works okay so it shows you how much is going toward interest and how much is going toward capital during each particular period all right and what happens if you make extra payments that's why we add that formula and it actually shows you how fast or how quickly you will pay off your mortgage loan so you can use this table and put any extra payment you wish to so if you want to pay an extra 2000 rand then you can put it there and you can see by how many periods or by how many years you will complete paying off your mortgage loan i hope it has made sense i hope this is helpful you gained value from this lesson please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help till next time cheers